everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my favorite February, what the thing, um, subway commercial, we can't say it. February 2013 favorites video. Um, the first part's going to be non makeup related. It's going to be skincare, bath, whatever that's not makeup related. So be sure to uh, hang out for part two. Um, and I have one food on it, I'm going to show you guys because it's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and on a side note, thank you for all the kind comments I got on my video yesterday. I really appreciate that, and so does Carrie. I share those with him. He says, thank you. Um, much appreciation for that. So, all right, let's get on with the video. The food item I'm going to show you is something we discovered at the 99 store, and when just going back and forth to the hospital has been awesome. Instead of getting food down the machine, we would eat this, and then in the morning, uh, we'd eat this with pretzels when we were there. This is the Planters Nutrition Energy Mix. It's uh, a fruit granola mix with the peanut butter. I have the banana nut, and he's got the cinnamon raisin granola nut. It's got granola and peanut butter in it, but a certain kind of fruit. Um, we found this at the 99 cent store. Found out it's a new product. came out from Planters. It's supposed to have seven natural sources of seven vitamins and minerals. Six grams of protein per serving, five grams of sugar per serving, 180 calories, zero grams of trans fat per serving, but it also tells you see the nutrition label. Um, this has been awesome. I can eat this like on some wheat toast in the morning. Uh, like say I got a four hour shift and I go and I don't get hungry until shortly after I get home. After a four hour shift, for example, say if I gotta be there at night, I eat this about 7.30, 8 o'clock ish and slap that on some bread, and I don't get hungry, say, if I get off at 1, about 1.30, and I'm good. I'm hypoglycemic, and I can eat every two hours, and there's times I can't. So um, this has been awesome and very healthy, in my opinion, and has really stuck to me. I'm, me, and, <clears throat> me and Carrie are actually started eating a lot healthier now. We're trying to eat more healthier. I mean, seriously, we have. Um, and this has been helpful for us um, as far as getting that going. So if you see this in your store, where we find it at, try this out. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Nutella spread that you you know use on your toast or whatever. Okay, let me get on and show you my favorite bath product of the month. Oh my gosh, um, I know I shared this with you before. I'm pretty sure. This is still another favorite. The Soft Soap Body Butter Coconut Scrub Body Buff Wash with crushed coconut and Jehovah butter extract. I got this in a gift basket from a relative of mine, and this has been awesome. I use this like once or twice a week when I'm feeling like I need to get super deep clean on my skin, and the body wash and cutting it, I use this. Um, I would show you what the inside of it looks like, but it's kind of grody. Not really, but it's just, hold on, let's see if I'm going to wipe it down for you. It's just a really nice body scrub. It's a milky. I'm going to get it out. Basically, it's a white milky body scrub with microbeads in it, basically what it has in here. And it smells so good. And I feel like I get a really good deep clean on my skin. My skin's so soft. But I still don't have the lotion on it. So I have been using this. I highly recommend this. I think this at Walmart. I don't know about any other stores. Okay, body splashes. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I've had this and I've been using it quite a bit. The Victoria's Secret Aloha Pink Walden Breezy All Over Body Mist. I have been using this and sometimes carrying it in my purse. Love this stuff. I don't know if it's still out because it was in a collection that came out last year, right about this time, kind of like in January. Um, but if you see this, why is there something on it to be jacked up with? Um, this has just been a light, airy, tropical uh, scent, um, and it's been really easy on my nose, and it smells really good, and it lasts a good while, so. And I have the lotion. I've been using this with the lotion, but I wanted to include the body splash with it. Okay. Don't bark for you. Sorry. He gets that over, he's about to bark, and it's just like, no, stop. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, the Tresemme Shampoo and Conditioner, the Anti-Wreckage Defense, 
This has vitamin B12 and gelatin from for hair that for hair prone to break. Okay, I can't read. For hair prone that it's for hair that's prone to breakage and split ends. Basically, I can't really get this going here. I've been using that with the moisture rich conditioner. A lot of you have said my hair looks really pretty. This is the reason why because this likes to split ends and improves this. This keeps my hair nice and moisturized. Uh, I love this stuff for like three fifty, maybe four bucks to get a thirty two ounce flow, so it's really inexpensive. So if you haven't tried the trend to make your hair really good to well. I'm going to really love them. Okay. Now let's get on with skincare. Um the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. I saw several other people, including Miss Veronica, talking about this. I uh, figured, well, what the heck. I've been looking for a good facial moisture supposed to be made for the moisture, uh, for the face part of it. I've always found moisturizers that's all over and knit rods, there was a difference. And I finally got this at Walmart. It was like almost $7, which is the cheapest I found it. And I love this stuff. It's a really light, it's a gel formula. It does a really nice job of keeping my face moisturized. And I still think that this does a really nice job of helping me you know, blend my foundation out better. Um, I had no, it hasn't rubbed me out. And it also does a really nice job of making the makeup last longer, I think. So, and I've not had any dry patches when I put it, you know, basically everywhere I can. And this has just been a really good uh, product. Um, you can use it in the morning or at night, but I use something else at night. Um, but I found this has been very, very helpful uh, for me in my skincare routine. So be sure to check it out. You know what the heck? Okay, facial cleanser. I love my L'Oreal Youth Coat stuff, but I have that and the Stay Eyes one. I'm trying to the Stay Eyes one. I'm trying to use up because I'm gonna. This is number one, and the L'Oreal has been kicked to number two. And I forgot how good this is. Now, this is a pretty pricey product. It's the Mary Kay Time Wise 3 1 Cleanser. The 4.5 ounce flow. I got this from a neighbor of mine that had tried it before she moved and she didn't like it. And this is mainly aimed at the older ladies. Mine's in combination to oily skin, but I think they have other ones there. Uh, I think this is like $25, which made me flinch. That's why I hadn't purchased it yet. Um, it's a really good cleanser. I use it either. Normal with my hands, I use it with the little scrub brush I got at Sally's or the little pads I got at the dollar store at the beginning. I didn't even tried that. It does a really nice job of cleansing your face and getting rid of all the nastiness in your skin. So, uh, I don't know, I just, I really like this cleanser. Every time I've used this, my skin has cleared up. Like I said, it's just comparable up there with the L'Oreal Youth Coat, so this is a lot more pricier. But if you can get your hands on this, I would give it a whirl. Okay, when I actually get done with that, I go and grab my equation for skin to strengthen it. This is the one that's comparable to the Sea Breeze. I love this. I used to have the one with the, it was one the clinic. I cannot stand the clinic for products. They're not any good. Um, but this is, I feel like when you apply it on your skin or my skin, whatever, it does a really nice job of deep uh, cleansing. Like, last night, I used this and I put this on there and I'm like, wow. <laughs> You can tell your face is getting clean because it's doing a little slight burning sensation. But, I mean, it's the tingliness I'm, feeling, I'm looking for. And I find that this does a really nice job of getting in there. And I'm surprised my face is not broken out with all the stress, uh, we, you know, what I've been under. So, I highly recommend this. I don't remember how much this is, but highly recommend this. I, I don't know if they revamped it to where it's supposed to be comparable to that brand or whatever. Um... Immediately after I get done with that, I use my CBS Refreshing Toner. This is the nighttime moisturizer I use. This is supposed to be comparable to the L'Oreal Hydro Fresh Toner. I don't know. But this does a really nice job of keeping my face moisturized, not only in the morning or at night. Whenever I wake up in the morning, I feel my face, and it's still moisturized. It feels so awesome. So um, I got this on sale. I think it's like 5 bucks probably. I got this for like 2 It was buy one, do one and a half off. I think I paid two fifty. So... If you see this at CBS, give it a whirl. It's got like beta hydroxy to remove dead skin cells. Features provided with B5 to help retain your skin's moisture, which it definitely does. 
and it boosts skin renewal to create a radiant complexion. And I think it really does do all the things it says on the bottle, so I should be happy with that. Now, the makeup wipes I've fallen back in love with, I was using baby wipes, and I found these. These are the Equate Original Clean Wet Tint Cleansing Pellets with Vitamin E. Uh, these are the ones that are supposed to be like the Pond's Original Fresh Wet Cleansing Pellets. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I take one of these pellets and on one side get all my eye makeup remover off. Eye makeup remover off. Eye makeup off. Brow, everything. And then on one, the other side get all my face stuff. I use one pellet per night and this does everything in one step. So I can't remember how much this is. They do sell the refills. So I haven't found it because a few times I do go to Walmart and they never had it. And the one we were at on the other side of town actually had it. So, yep. Love it. Not to mention it's helped keep my skin uh, cleansed and it's it's super quick to get your makeup off. Now, the very few times I can't get my mascara off, I got several mascara. I've been re referring to my Up and Up brand. So this is the eye makeup remover, the one that's supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena one. I've been enjoying this. This is a really quick, simple, easy step to get leftover mascara off because I got some mascara that won't come off. And you basically, you know, shake it up and you go from there. So check this out. This is sold at Target, obviously. I don't know why I said that, but it's in. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I should have this with you guys in a video. It kind of freaked me out. I had to cut some of the holes on these a little bit, but the new pour fresh aloe. There was a package that had this one and a red one in it, um, but I did use this on my face. I had to cut the eyeball out a little bit. This is the, the cloth mask. I got this at the 99 cent store. If you see these, pick these up. These are really, really nice because I felt like it really did a nice job of keeping my face moisturized. You know, you want that once a week treatment. Um, I've been forgetting to go to Walmart too. They have that. That Queen Helen face mask. I used the Freeman's one for the longest time, but I've noticed that that the uh, something in there was just making my face irritated, irritated, irritated. And um, I've just I've used this, and I really like these. So I thought I'd throw those in there too. All right, that's it for my non-makeup related items. If you'll stay tuned, I'll share with you my favorite makeup items of the month. Okay, thanks.